All right, so Tesla did like Apple and stopped giving charges when you buy a brand new car. But thankfully, now there's tons of options available, so I'm gonna review one mobile connector that could be a fit for you. All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from Norton Tesla. So today we are on the topic of EV chargers. And like I said in the intro, you used to be able to get a free charger, now you don't. So you kind of have to go looking for one. Uh, today I have one by EV Dance. This is a level one to portable charger. So it's gonna be basically replace your mobile connector. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. And it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, so they have multiple options available in terms of connecting points. Uh, so I'm this down. Uh, so this is basically a 515 standard wall outlet, as you can see. Uh, and it's like an adapter. So originally it comes with a 620. I don't know, no clue what that is. You have the option of a uh, J7072 or the NACS which is your standard Tesla plug. Uh, so it's got the button over here too, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you can still work and open your port. Uh, it is a 25 foot cable, which is really long. And let's go ahead and open this guy up. We're gonna need some scissors. So basically just a standard, it's got a little light here with a little status bar. Uh, it obviously does come with all like, you know, it's IP66, uh, has charge protection, it has lightning protection, surge protection. Uh, so in terms of safety, all that's covered. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see how it works. Before I do though, please take a second and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. You get better content, better accessory reviews. Uh, so you might as well subscribe and do it now. It comes with an adapter, which you'll need. Basically a standard wall outlet adapter. And then we're gonna test out the wall, which is just over here. The EV dance cable is 25 feet long, so you have plenty of room to connect to your car. So we are getting the full 12 amps as well as 111 volts. All right, so I've been using the EV Dance charger for a few weeks now, and I have to say, I really had no issues. Uh, it performed really well, it performed as expected, and I had it in the rain for a couple nights, and it really had no issues. So in terms of performance, there's really no issues, it's really reliable, and I recommend it in terms of that. Now, whether it's a good fit for you depends on a couple factors, which we're gonna get into right now. All right, so this is a level one and two charger. Now, when I first opened the box up, and you notice when I saw the plug, which was this thing, uh, it's a vertical as well as a horizontal and a ground. I didn't really know what it was because I've never seen one of these. And I was kind of surprised, this is level two because the cable is not very thick either compared to what I've seen on 240 volt outlets. But it is, it's a NEMA 620. And the reason uh, these aren't very common is because they're not as fast. As you can see by the, thick ca uh, the cable size, it's only rated for about 20 amps, while the most common one, which is a NEMA 1450 or a dryer plug, is rated for 50 amps. So this unit particularly will get 16 amps, and most uh, 1450 outlets will get you around 40 amps. So in terms of charging speed, the 620 will get you around 3.8 kilowatt hours, or around 10 to 15 miles per hour, while the faster 1450 NEMA will get you around 9.6 kilowatt hours or about uh, 30 to 40 miles per hour. So if you are looking for a level two option for your house and you haven't decided on what outlet to get, I would definitely go for 1450. Uh, EV Dance does have those versions as well. But for this one, a 620, uh, if you already have that installed, then hey, uh, this will work for you. But I wouldn't recommend getting that because it's a lot slower than a 1450. Um, but where I do recommend this unit is for the option. Like I said, you can have this adapter and it turns into a 110 wall outlet. And honestly, if you're looking for a mobile uh, charging option, 99.9% .9 of the time, at least for me, whether you're charging at someone's house for a few days, at a campsite, or uh, if you're at a hotel that doesn't have a dedicated EV charger, most of the times you are gonna be plugging into a standard wall outlet. You, you won't have a 240 volt uh, outlet available to you in most situations. So for a mobile uh, option, 
this is what you're probably going to need. And for the price, you can't really beat it. If you do want to get yourself one of these units, head over to EV Dance Is. That's EV Dance with an S dot com and use promo code EVD North for 20% off. So right now it's around $189 US. And with that promo code, it brings it down to $150 US. So when you compare that to like a Tesla version of the mobile connector, which is $275, that is a huge savings. And typically you're only gonna be using it for a 110 outlet. So why spend the extra money for a 220 if you don't really need it? If you like this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week or so. Tons of awesome Tesla content such as how-tos, tips and tricks, Tesla 101, product reviews like this one, so much awesome Tesla content. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric. So once upon a time, Tesla, so once upon a time, when you buy a new Tesla, you got a charger. So what, so, so, so once upon a time, so, so once upon a time, when you buy a new Tesla, you used to get, so once upon a time, when you got a Tesla, so once upon a time, when you bought a new Tesla, you got a mobile. If you like this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week or so. Tons of awesome Tesla content such as how-tos, tips and tricks, Tesla 101, product reviews like this one, so much awesome Tesla content, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric.